So in this video I'm going to go over another way that we use sugars in the body, which is um, through glucose aminoglycans. Now, carbohydrates are actually the most abundant biomolecule on earth, and it's these glucose aminoglycans that are found outside of the cell, and they actually hold the cells together. Um, some of their functions, so they hold the cells together and they're also called the ground substance because cells that can actually grow off of these and they're, it's a, called a mucopolysaccharides and these repeating sugars can be up to 50,000 in length so there's quite a lot of these this is a disaccharide this is chondroitin 4 sulfate and right here it has a sulfate unit and the glucosamine is right here so anything anytime you see an amine you have a nitrogen so this is a sulfonated um, molecule there can be up to 50,000 uh, uh, sugars in length. They help um, the cells absorb nutrients and oxygen. And the sulfate groups create, create a high negative charge, so it prevents the cells from growing into each other. So it helps prevent irregular cell growth. Again, these are glucosaminoglycans, and they are found outside the cell, and they are made of uh, sugars. They're very heterogeneous in nature, which means that you can have various different sugars as part of these large polymer chains. <clears throat> and again, many of them are sulfonated. So this is just another way that we use sugar in carbohydrates in the body. It's, it's actually outside the cell. So I'm going to walk around the outside. And if you're not interested in say, uh, just staying for the rest of the video, it's sulfur. We need about 4,700 milligrams of sulfur. I'm going to leave my um, sup sulfur supplement in the bottom, uh, in the description box below. All right, so let's just go around the outside and see where we use sugar in, uh, in the body. So we have dermatin sulfate, which is another sulfonated um, polysaccharide, and that's using this, found in the skin. Keratin sulfate, which is found in cartilage bone, the cornea, hair, nails, and, and even uh, horns, which doesn't really apply to us. Heparin sulfate um, was found in the arterial walls, the liver, lungs, and skin. And hyaluronic acid. This actually doesn't use sulfur, but it's found in the synovial fluids, in the eye, and it helps bind calcium, potassium, and sodium um, with hyaluronate. And then finally we have heparin sulfate, which is found in the blood vessels and the brain. So this is just another way that we use sugars. So you so if you're diabetic, just cutting out carbs and sugars altogether is not going to be the way to go if you want to get <clears throat> if you want to get healthy. I would suggest you start taking more sulfur or just determine if you are taking enough sulfur. So at the very top here, I listed the most abundant molecules in our body um, by um, by mass um, by weight. So left to right is the, the most abundant, and, and this is only a partial list, obviously. So the most abundant is oxygen, then calcium, hydrogen, nitrogen, calcium, oh, sorry, that was carbon, calcium, phosphorus, and then sodium, I mean, um, potassium and sulfur are found at about the same amount in the body, and we need about 4,700 milligrams of potassium in the body. So we'll probably need about 4,700 milligrams of sulfur in the body as well because they're about the same molecular weight. So again, glucosaminoglycans, take a look at them online. These are all sugars. They're found in our body, all throughout our body, and they're sugars. They're, they're the sugars that hold us together. We are being held together by sugar. So if you're a diabetic, um, take a look at how much sulfur you're getting because sulfur is critical in all of these, or most of these um, polysaccharides.